My private life is none of his business. Plus, you're married. Why are you gay? You are gay. Hi guys, welcome back to Wacko's Review, the only YouTuber that has a bank. Yes. I'm not even lying this time. So if you're new here and you want to borrow money from my bank, just subscribe, turn on post notifications so you'll be notified when I post. Like this video if you like this content. Also like this video if you hate this video. So I will know that you like it because I don't know, I don't, I want you to hate me. Okay, roll into. You see, after watching Her Sister Madam episode 1, I can only imagine the conversation between a girl and the love of her life whenever a new episode comes out. It's, 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 it's always like this, in my mind, it's always like this. Hey babe, I want to watch Her Sister Madam. Oh yeah? Do you want to watch it with me? No! I hate you. You are broke. And I deserve better. I deserve a worker's review. I just had to add myself there because uh, in this channel, I always like to just make myself feel like I am finer and better than everybody. Because I am finer and better than everybody. EG is my channel. This episode, as I predicted in my last review, would be different. And I was right. You see, in the last episode, we followed the life of Choma, the star from the Telemundo series titled Second Chance. Because my heart beats for Lola. G. That's the actual name. I've copyrighted it. If you ever think of stealing it, I will sue you. What do you learn French? I grew up in Montpellier for five years. Choma was so calculated with how she gave her body away. And her hatred for man only came because of her ex leaving her on the altar. Tamara is different from Choma and it's very obvious. She's more clumsy and probably the youngest out of the trio. Yes, I said it. I actually said trio. Have you ever heard of the singing group? You know what? Let me make this thing like an advert. Guys, have you ever heard of a singing group called BWSG? They dropped classical songs like I Am a Feminist. Also, fabulous songs that you might have seen like I Love Money and I Can't Spend My Own Money. And let's not forget their greatest hits. I am Loki, a prostitute. Tamara is first introduced as this person who wants to just feel involved. The first scene of her just showed how fame hungry she was. Um, she saw Tony Tones, then took a video with her pretending like both of them were guys from like way back. All I can imagine is if I was there, she would have been like, Oh, it's a Wacko's review. Oh, oh my God. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> no one is fans in me. I'm like nobody to be honest, like, I'm no, I'm nobody. Like, why are you even still listening, watching this video? Then we found out that this encounter between her and Tony Tones happened two weeks ago, and now she's now a proud small girl with a big god, which is apparently the name of the episode. So I feel what happened in the episode is just her grass to grace act. I was broke two weeks ago, but thank God, I sold my body. Now I'm living big. You, you see, you, you there, you, you, you are watching. You can do it also. Live big with me, man. But before you can know the rich Tamara, let's talk about the old Tamara. Tamara is this person that rents clothes from people to just look the part. She wants to be an actress by force, but the struggle is real. All she has been doing is work her past roles. Oh, 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 pause, pause here. Zoom in. Zoom in one, two more, five more times. Zoom in again. Yeah, you see? <laughs> You see me there? I'm in David's video. <laughs> you see, guys? Dream big, man. You can be like me one day, man. They go to this party, and this is where the show starts playing with our mind when it comes to defining time. It is very confusing, so you just have to like catch up, guys. This is the same party that Choma went to in search of a rich man to ruin. Now, Tamara being in that party gets recognized by this man they call Jola. He's a nerd. The only issue I have with him is that every time he talks, he always sounds like he's running out of breath. I know you. It's nice to meet you. Person. I just came here because of my friend. She dances with him and when he started moving his hands, I, ju I just felt like we were in 2013 watching Azonto videos again. 
nobody should ever watch Asunto videos again. It's not needed again. We should burn that thing from YouTube. We find out that Jola is close friends with John, and John starts toasting her just after escorting Choma out of the premises. He starts toasting her like, girl. And this is why I say men are actually scum. But I'm not. Tamara. Judging from his watch and the confident way he's carrying himself, I can tell this guy has money. What the hell is wrong with everyone in this show and how the hell do you know which watch is good or bad? I have a G-Shock and babe, if I bring that G-Shock out, yeah, <laughs> that's ha, <laughs> you're mine already, I hear me, you're mine. So I don't understand why everybody's always like, oh my God, oh. from the look of his watch, he looks like he has money. <laughs> my G-Shock has money, man. I was just too fine. And from here in the episode, it's just a whole back and forth of who would have a chance to have her. John and Jola are like the most childishest billionaires I've ever seen. In my house, I have a mini theater with a huge catalog of Nigerian movies. Because she knows both of them likes her, she starts playing both of them, telling this one, she spoke to this one, telling that one, she's talking to this one. But with all the games that she was playing, it also came with a downside. And that downside was that she had to sit down and listen to this guy drop the deadest, the deadest joke I've ever heard. And then my daughter asked me, said, Daddy, are lions really from Africa? I said, of course they are, why? And she says, then how come they were all speaking with an American accent? Really? Then how come they were all speaking with an American accent? The whole episode was just about her beating both guys, Jola and John, trying to make Jola invest in her and just wanting John to give her money because the guy has money. But her way of solidifying the beat was by sleeping with them. I'm just happy that John finally got something. Guys, again, I'm going to tell you, I don't believe anybody should just, like drop or sell their body for anything. But this John deserved something. Do you understand? Because I can put myself in his shoes. I'm in his shoes already. I'm a billionaire. I have a bank. I don't know how I spin that in to make me look like a rich person, but I did it. Welcome to my channel, guys. Can I also say at this point, the biggest issue of the show was its pacing. Episode 1 was good in terms of pacing of the story, and it was following a straight line. You could understand. They would go front sometimes, they would come back, but you would always understand. But episode 2 was everywhere. I'm, I'm sorry, but it's just the truth. The biggest issue is you actually did not have to sleep with them because they were already at your palm. I guess that is what they are trying to pass, the message they are trying to convey that all of them are all different and most of them would learn from their mistakes. One thing I'm happy about is that the video quality increased but my expectations is next episode might be better. I don't know at this point but I am certain about one thing. Episode 4 is where everything settles for sure. Like then we would finally follow the story how it's supposed to go. So all we just have to do for now is just keep pushing through. The show has a lot of potentials I feel but we just need to keep pushing through. But again, again guys, who noticed her yellow skinned face like I, I did not notice it at first until i saw a comment and once you see the comment trust me guys you can never unsee the yellow face <laughs> thank you guys for watching to be honest after posting the first video on monday i fell ill my voice is bad and I hope it wasn't obvious in this video because it will be sad when I'm editing it because I'm not editing it now. But my voice is, is really bad. Like, I, I lost it. I've been coughing non-stop. Um, guys, we're almost at 21,000 subscribers. Can you even imagine? Just, I just celebrated 20 and now a thousand people have joined. So, thank you guys for always coming here to support me. Thank you guys for everything. Is there any update in my life? There's no update. I'm trying to post more, but this show is definitely making me post like this is the first time I'm posting twice a week in a very long time. This is the very second video this week. I hope it lived up to like the expectations of episode one. And if it did not, I don't want you to comment. Don't even dare comment in my comment section. Get out! <laughs> Um, guys, I don't know what else to say at this point, but thank you guys for watching. 
this video was probably short depending on how i edit it but it was probably short and if it's over like 10 minutes hooray if it's not hooray i also wanted to ask you guys that do you want me to make this review shorter and like when it's longer is it like boring or do you want to make me you know, make a little bit of I'm putting my English again. Do you want to make it do you want me to make it shorter because I could make it shorter and it will be it will still be good? Or do you want longer videos because you just have like an issue with listening to me and my voice because you, you love my voice? Yeah, I, I keep hyping myself and it's not working, man. It's no nobody's toasting me. Nobody's toasting me. Okay guys, um I've joked I've joked around too much. It is currently 11.41. I'm sweating in a room that is very dark and all I can see is my phone. Thank you guys for watching as usual. Please, if you are new here, subscribe. Listen to our podcast, Zero Expectations. All the links are in the description. Go and check it out, guys. Please. All right. Thank you guys for listening or watching and everything. I will catch myself. <coughs> I'm coughing again on the next one i hope i was recording because if i wasn't recording it would be it would be oh my god i was recording <laughs>